Grant, first of all, a couple of days out from Saturday's game against uh, Harrogate Town. Your, your reflections on that one? I yeah, stand by what I said after the game. Um, I don't think we were as good as we can be. Uh, in fact, quite disappointing um, in the first half. But. You know, it's, it's, it's a long way to go. We, we knew there was going to be some teething problems. Um, I'm not one for making excuses ever, but, you know, seven debut, debutants on the pitch. Tommy Rowe playing in midfield in a position he hasn't played for, for a while. John Taylor playing his first game for, for a while. So these are things we took into consideration uh, and have taken into consideration after the game. So you always reflect on things. You always look and think, well, how can I improve? How could, what could we have done differently? Um, did we make the subs right at the, at the right time and things like that? So as a manager, you always question yourself first uh, and the staff. And, and then we, and, and then we, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but then we'd sit down as a staff and go through things. Um, what did the week look like for the players? Was it too much? Was it not enough? Um, these are things that you know can keep, can keep you up at night, but obviously that's what we get paid for. It, it, it's our job to make sure we get them right. So um, all in all, it was a disappointing day for us, but we had opportunities to, to definitely win the game. Um, Although they had some opportunities and Lozzy was in good in good form, but you know we need to be taking those opportunities and thinking back to the the cutback from George Broadbent, the cutback from Jamie Sterry, the header that Owen Bailey makes a great save at Oxley, the penalty which we all know should have been a penalty. Um, so the game could have been a lot different. Um, so glass half full a little bit still. Um, disappointed, yes, but you know there's a long way to go. How have you approached it with the lads this morning? Well, we, you know, when we go into a, a, a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday week, it's difficult to try and fit everything in, i.e. debriefs, the new, the, the new tactics, whatever we're trying to do against Hull tomorrow evening, um, you know, the analysis. Um, so we addressed it as a, you know, I uh, spoke to the leadership group this morning about certain things. We addressed it as a, as a team. Uh, just to, you know, sometimes I'd say things to the players after, after a game and... There's times when I feel that maybe I shouldn't have said that. I, I don't think that was right. But having watched the game back, honest feedback to the players was I haven't changed what you know what I said to you after the game. It's uh, we need to be better in certain in certain aspects of our game, and you know a long way a long way to go to improve that. So we, we, we're trying to work towards that mindset. Was shifted straight away after that meeting to to, to get on the hull. Um, watched their game back. Watched their last two or three games. Um, they had a tough game at, at, at Norwich, but you know you can see what Liam's trying to do there. You know, a really enthusiastic young coach who's gonna he's gonna have a top top career, I feel. Um, and he's got some good players there, so it's gonna be a good game tomorrow. Just before we come fully on to whole reflections on the the, sort of the first experience of, of the new rule changes, and particularly with the, with the added time, sort of 14 minutes uh, for for the second half at the end of that. How, how was that to deal with from your point of view, from the players' point of view as well? It's it's strange um, because it, it has a knock-on effect. I feel you know it's um, particularly when you have a Tuesday game. You know we, we like to get the team out onto the grass, but you've got to be very careful because you know we've played what 114 minutes there. I think it was when I looked at the stats, 100 odd minutes, uh, 114 minutes in, in total in the game, and. You know, you put that in perspective over a season. It's not no longer a 46-game season. It's it's going to be a 55, 56 if you accumulate those those minutes all through the season. So um, it, it's going to be tough. It's it's hard work. It, it really is. I, I'm not sure how long this is going to last. Will they carry this on? Because it, it, yes, everybody wants time wasting stamped out of football. Of course they do. Um, whether you're winning or losing, I'm biggest advocate for it really. Um, but to ask players to play you know 25 minutes extra in, in some games I've seen over the weekend and ours as well 20 odd nearly 20 minutes it, it's just it's just mind-boggling really um, and it's it's you know we yes we all want a good product in the football pitch but we're, we're flogging these players already you know when you think of the the cup games you think of the the league 46 games if you have a run in the in the in, in the EFL Cup it's it's added games and, and you need a big squad fortunately we have um, and, and we can chop and change a little bit if we need, um, but it's just, uh, yeah, it, it seems like it's going to be an extra eight, nine, ten games on top of the 46 with these minutes if you accumulate them over the season. Your thoughts on this as a cup tie? Then, on out. Looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to going back to Hull. Um, obviously, some really good people there, um, and still some players that I actually brought in to, to Hull and, and thriving. So it's great to see them kick on in, in their careers. And um, 
you know, a lot of the staff are still there that, that we had when we were there and, and worked with. So looking forward to it, you know, but the game's not about that or me or anything like that. It's about us going and showing what we're capable of and, and showing better than what we showed on Saturday, I would say. Is this an ideal one to follow up Saturday? You, you mentioned you were disappointed with the performance on Saturday, but you got to higher league opposition, fantastic stadium, a real chance to show what you're all about. Yeah, I mean, we've got to go there and, and be brave, you know, and... Uh, you know, watching Hull's games, you know, you can see they've got a clear identity on how they want to work and how they want to play. So our job is to go here and, and, and play our game and, and try and stamp our authority on them. Um, it'll be a tough game, but we're looking forward to it. You know, it's, um, you're right, lovely stadium, tremendous stadium, tremendous pitch um, and against good opposition. So it's a good test for our lads to go and, and, and go and show what they've got. What are their threats? Oh, they've got many a threats, you know, the top end of the pitch, they're, they're good, and whether Liam makes some changes or not, uh, midfield, you know, they've got internationals all through their team. Um, so it's uh, it'll be a tough game, um, whatever team Liam plays, um, but hopefully we can we can give them a we give them a good test. I know this answer to this next question can be ever evolving, but what will be your approach to cup competitions this season? We'd like to have a run in the cups. Um, there is a certain cups that we we've highlighted, and we'd like a run because it's financially for the football club. It's 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 huge, you know, and. Um, You've seen over the years, League Two, League One teams having runs in, in these cups, and even just to last year, Grimsby, and it was in the FA Cup. But it can be everything. You know what I mean? It can be everything for the football club. For it can be everything for us. It can help us. You know, when we get into January and, and things like that. So yeah, we've, we've, we've always got a mind on that because we want to try and you know give a little back back to the club because they've been really supportive of, of, of us. Uh, how was the squad on the injury front? Anybody likely to be back or, or anybody likely to be involved that wasn't involved at the weekend? Yeah, Sam Westbrook will be back. Um, he's been training the last couple of days so that'll be a, a plus for us. Ben Close is, is close. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister. But he's close. Um, and I think that's it really. Um, we'll look to probably try and get Rio Griffiths involved. Again, he's been he's been working hard, extra sessions after training. Um, training well today, scored a few goals. So um, we'll get him involved in, in, in the squad.